In this video, I'm going to show you how we place a dental implant step by step. At this point, we're going to assume that you've already had a consultation done, had the necessary x-rays taken, and that you're a candidate for implant and you're ready for surgery. So on the day of surgery, here's what to expect. They're probably going to give you some consents, have you rinse around with a little solution before they start, and just get you numb like they would for a crown or a filling or a basic dental procedure. Now that you're numb, we're going to take our drill and begin creating the space for the implant by removing bone like you can see in this video here. We're then going to do the same thing, but with a little bit wider drill and go a little bit longer to the length of our implant that we need. So somewhere along the way, we took an x-ray to make sure we liked the direction we were going. We've increased the space that we need or created the space that we need for the implant, the length and the width, and now we're ready to place the implant. Remember, the dental implant itself, whether you want to call it the implant, the stud, the post, is just the titanium screw that we actually place into your bone. We then use our drill, or we'll actually manually screw the implant in place. Now that the implant is in place, we take another, uh, another, another x-ray to make sure that we like it. And then, what about the tooth? That's a great question. We don't typically put the tooth on the implant right away because we need to let the implant heal and integrate with your bone before we start loading it and you start using it to chew and function your day-to-day -day life. So while the implant is healing, we'll either one, let your gum tissues grow completely over it. That way you won't even see it. You won't even know that it's in there. Or we'll put a little attachment on it that looks like this. And what your gums will do is they'll grow around it and it'll start shaping your tissues during the healing process. This one you can actually see if you visually look in the mouth. It looks like a little metal button. The implant on average needs about three months to heal. Now this could vary depending on a lot of different things, but for the sake of this video, let's just say three to five months later, we're ready to put the tooth on it. So the implant's fully healed. Then we will actually put a little piece, a little connector piece onto the implant. And once that's on there, then we will cement the tooth on top of that connector piece. Or what we can do is actually just screw the whole thing down into the implant. And voila, we're done. The tooth is on there. I know this procedure can seem intimidating. I know what you might be thinking as far as how bad is this going to hurt? Patients ask me that all the time. And honestly, what I can say from the feedback that I've gotten from them is that they actually do very well after this procedure. As far as the next day, they're out walking their dog. They're maybe working in the garden. They don't really have to take any pain medicine. Typically, ibuprofen just covers it. So compared to like an extraction, the recovery after a dental implant procedure is actually very easy from what I've heard from patients. Obviously though, you're still having a surgery done and everyone heals a little bit differently depending on their health history and how well they follow instructions after the procedure. When done properly, placed properly, taken care of, the dental implant is one of the most predictable, successful long-term treatments that we can do to replace missing teeth. If you guys found this video helpful or got any value out of it, be sure to check out some of our other videos, implants versus bridges, which one's the best? Don't forget to like or subscribe to our channel. Thank you guys for your time.